Hey guys, I just downloaded iOS 11 beta 1 on my iPhone and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new features that are, were included in iOS 11. Now iOS 11 was just announced this week and it's pretty exciting software update. It has a whole bunch of new features and improvements and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about that. So if you haven't already subscribed then please go ahead and subscribe below. Let's get started. iOS 11 has a few different design changes that you'll notice right away. When you open up the lock screen, you see a new animation. To the top left, you see that the signal bars are no longer the dots. They've gone back to being actual signal bars. At the bottom, you'll see that there's no more text with the apps. The biggest change though is control center. So when you swipe up, you see a whole bunch of different options. Now with iOS 11, you see that it's actually customizable, which gives you a whole different options when you even 3D touch each of these different sections. Now each of these buttons are actually customizable so you can choose whatever you want and you can even expand control center how you please. This makes control center pretty powerful. So with iOS 11 there's a new way that notifications are handled. So when you swipe down from the top it actually shows you the lock screen and when you get to the lock screen it shows you your notifications. By swiping up it shows you your older notifications. To the left is the usual widgets and to the right is the camera. Now this is a little bit different, but it's trying to eliminate as many steps to get your notification by keeping it all in your lock screen. This is something that's gonna take a little bit getting used to. Next up is the news app. The news app received a little bit of an update. Um, the for you section is pretty much the same, but it shows you things that Siri suggests based on your searches. And there's also a new spotlight section. The spotlight section is a highlight basically for each day that shows you curated articles by Apple. In the following section, you have a little bit of a facelift as well, and that's the news app. Next up, let's go to the App Store. A big thing that was talked about at WWDC was a whole new redesigned App Store. Now the App Store has gone through a huge change, and to me, I think it looks pretty modern. It looks very nice and sleek. It's pretty cool. You have all different kinds of articles in there too now that describes what's going on in the App Store. And you see new interactive features for each of the apps that are being featured. I think this is a great way for you to learn more about the apps before you purchase or download them. And it's pretty cool that you get to see a whole bunch of different actions about them. Now this is kind of like a newsfeed. So every day you'll see a new app of the day, you'll see a new game of the day as well. Now games has its own section. Now games highlights all the different games that are going on in the app store that are pretty big right now. And if you'll notice, there's that's where the top charts now lie. Now, if you notice that there's skipping numbers, it's because some of the games I already have downloaded. So this is a nice thing because it shows you apps that you don't already have. Next up is apps. So apps work similarly, just like games. Next up is photos. Photos received a pretty good update. Now with live photos, there's a whole bunch of different features with them. So this is the live photo playing as it is. And now there's different options. You can do a loop option, which is a continuous flow. You can do a bounce option, which is like a boomerang. And one of the coolest options is a long exposure. So long exposure is something that high quality DSLRs can do. So this is pretty cool that it's able to do that so fast. It creates a nice artistic look to your picture. You can also go into the photo and choose a still image. Let's say you have a live photo, but the key photo in there is not that great. So you can go into the live photo and actually choose a better picture. Another big feature about iOS 11 is the Files app. The Files app is an actual file browser for your iPhone. It shows you all the files that are located on your phone and it's able to connect to iCloud Drive and also to Dropbox and other online storages. Another big feature that Apple talked about is the new Siri voice. Now the Siri voice to me sounds a lot more real and it sounds pretty close to actually Google's voice. Um, there's also new features that Siri added like translating on the go. You can also ask Siri to play me a song that I like and it'll play you a song that it thinks you like. So it's kind of like having your own personal DJ which connects to Apple Music. So that's iOS 11. As you can see, there's a lot of different UI changes and new animations, and overall, it's a pretty cool update. Um, this is just beta one, and usually Apple tends to add more features and improvements as the betas progress. So expect more follow-up videos on that. In regards to the iPad, iOS 11 was a huge upgrade, and I'll be doing a separate video just on that, so stay tuned for that as well. So that was iOS 11. If you liked what you saw, then please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
If you have any questions or comments, then please comment below. And if you really, really like this video, then please go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, guys.